Well, hello. It's nearing the end of 2022. And it's time for, yeah, I'm doing it as well, those retrospectives. The look back, the things that went well, the things that didn't go well, the other things. Anyway, I'm going to do three of these and release them all separately. Um, the first is going to be tech. The second, which is over here, is going to be beer. Drinks a Welsh beer, Polly's Brew Co. And the third, odds. Anyway, so let's get down to tech and let's get down to, well, the biggest section, which is Apple. Hmm. So last year, my favorite bit of new tech was the iPad Mini 6. One, because I love the form factor. It's so handy. It sort of fits in between a smartphone and a laptop or a big iPad. And it has an A15 chip. And it really rolls. It does video editing really well. The screen's a bit small for reading books and such like, but I love it. I really do. So, that was last year. Moving on to this year. Um, the bad things that happened from Apple. Um, my iPod Touch V7 went out of support. It's no longer supported by iOS V16, although they are still supporting 15. It's on 15.7.1 at the moment, which is good news. I use it as a podcast machine. Um, I have Overcast on there and I pay for the removal of ads. That's ads from the app, not from the podcasts. Although that has been a bit of a thing this year where I've paid for more podcasts to remove the apps. However, um, I um, got a replacement one from Argos and I've mirrored it. Although I didn't copy all of the settings, I just basically set it up from flat. The battery in the original one is still pretty good. Um, so I think that'll go on for another couple of years. After that, it will be, I think, a small smartphone. Probably, uh, I'm not sure if they're going to do mini iPhones in the future. But it'll be an SE or something like that. And that will be the replacement. So that's a bit of a sad thing. But hey, I'm still going well. Um, the iPhone 13 Pro, great phone, great battery, although I've started to get resprings. That's where the launcher, the screen that you see with all the icons on it, just restarts randomly. Um, upgrades don't help either, uh, so I'm not sure what it is. And I'm sure the way around it would be to wipe it out and start again, which I don't intend to do. So I've mentioned already the Mini 6. Uh, I have an iPad Pro 11-inch uh, 2018. Now there is an M2 knocking around at the moment and it's very expensive. Um, and this year prices went up mainly due to the pound falling against the dollar. Yeah. Um, so I really want the M2 iPad Pro. But can I hang on? Well, the battery's okay, um, and it's still pretty powerful, and I'm willing to wait possibly for another 18 months, plus the fact that I haven't actually got all the money. Um, so I might just hang on, even with DaVinci Resolve being available. Uh, yeah, I think I possibly will. Um, things are a little bit tight on the money front at the moment, so why not? Okay, so we've had updates um, to macOS, to Ventura, iOS 16, iPadOS 16, uh, tvOS 16, all incremental updates. Um, I wouldn't say there's anything standing out really apart from continuity camera on macOS. I really wish they would go to two-year big updates with incremental bits you know just apps and stuff in the meantime and the same would apply to windows and such like i don't think we need all these updates security updates yes major os updates no and i think we will get better quality updates if you have a longer cycle 
I can't remember which one it was. Was it that? iOS 11 or 10 or something like that, which was a fit and finish upgrade, which I think was really good. Anyway, on to the M2 MacBook Air. So went for the 512 because uh, it's faster than the base model and the 16 gigs because, you know, videos. And I love it. I really, really do love it. It's not too heavy. I have the midnight blue one and it's not that much of a fingerprint magnet. Um, good camera, although I'm not using the camera at the moment, is a Logitech 925. Um, yeah, it's become my laptop of choice. I have a number of laptops knocking around there. But yeah, that's all I use now and that goes away with me on Beano's. And with its efficiency battery life is excellent and its speed especially on videos um it's made me think that when windows 10 goes out of support at the end of 2025 or sometime in 2025 the efficiency and power of the m series chip and mac os will mean that i will move over from windows to mac os probably um a mac mini and uh, it'll be bye bye to windows apart from any laptops that i still have in operation um so that's it for apple they've done really well um the hardware has been exceptional oh the software not so much so um oh yeah air tags i'm now up to three and close to four exceptional products really really good i like them a lot yeah so next next will be windows windows 10 and windows 11 windows and android they are bedfellows if you have a look at the is it the surface duo it runs Android and my phone on Windows, Android. It's their play at ecosystems. So, anyway, oh yeah. Dead Pony Club, 3.8%. Very, very sessionable and nice. Copy to B++ if you're asking. Um, Windows. Okay, so Windows, Windows 10 and Windows 11, which are coexisting at the moment, um, they've both gone, I think, to one major update a year, so no longer H1 and H2. Mind you, H2 on um, Windows 10 was, well, what did it do? It sort of installed, and there you were. Um, so I have three Windows machine. My desktop can't go to Windows 11. Probably could, actually. Um, and I have two laptops, including a Dell XPS 13. And I'm going to leave them all on Windows 10. I said before, when talking about Apple, that I'm going to move over to Apple. But it's going to be a long and slow progression. I still am a Windows user at heart. I like the interface. The underneath bits not so keen and you can still find the control panel in windows 10 and windows 11 is a bit yeah even though apparently lower ram usage so windows for me was well there you go and all that sort of stuff however um still a microsoft 365 customer and recently um my email which was with godaddy and the workplace email which had its issues but i liked it um now gone to uh, microsoft 365 email so yeah they're going to be getting a couple of bob off me for quite some time now android um my xiaomi my pad 3 um well when the upgrade to um, Microsoft 365 email came in, um, I use K9 mail on there, which is open source. Actually, 
it was great i did it on my uh, android phone come back to that later and it was a really easy upgrade but i had a high speed attack of can't be bothered um it's still on android 9 and i had planned anyway at the end of the year as a new year's resolution to retire it so i retired it early so i have no longer any functional android tablets it's a bit of a shame um but ipads are so much better really really are uh, apart from things like uh, being able to uh, monitor wi-fi and things but never mind um yeah so um uh, android 13 it was a sort of yeah it's a mature upgrade it's all very nice i've gone completely over to gesture based navigation but the big thing from the year was um my pixel 3a pixel 3a yeah um it went out of support so come the summer a6a and you stick a cable in one and you stick a cable in the other and they transfer all the data and it's really fast and apple you might want to look at that um i know there's wi-fi there but really really good and my 6a i love it it's a great phone it works really well the battery life is really good um and the camera camera's great and i think it runs the same um chip inside i think it's a tensor 2 as the pixel 6 so it scoots along and it's great value so android for me yeah still keeping my hand in there still like android still does things that apple can't you know um and i'm gonna keep on with it to be perfectly honest windows windows are really in a holding pattern anyway right okay so that's it for the main operating systems apart from linux mint which i'll come on to in the next one um it'll be what software what great things have i bought what not great things have i bought um and various other bits and pieces for tech so um coming soon tech part three live from the john wallace linton with a cut price pint of Christmas Grand Cru. Um, not all there sure it should be that hazy, but it was 149 a pint. They're selling them off. I made hay. So this is all the other stuff. Mobile networks, accessories, software, predictions. Just push that up a bit. Um, in no particular order and sometimes repeated because you know things are that. So this year, my three connections, which are the SIM in my iPad Pro, the SIM in my MiFi, and the SIM in my iPhone, they all went over to Smarty, which I think is three anyway. Um, it certainly runs on the three network. Um, it's considerably cheaper and if you put them all together that is considerably cheaper as well you don't have mid-year price increases and you still have european roaming not that i've been outside england but should i need it it's there and i did it over about a month and a half move one at a time all that sort of thing had one or two issues but their online tech support was fine and i like them they're very good um, they have, as if you're with three, they have the same problems as three. The network, especially in the middle of the day, is completely oversaturated. However, there is 5G knocking around, and there's 5G in Bedworth as well. So that's better. Um, next thing, accessories. Two accessories that stand out for me. First one was the Logitech Lytra Glow. I did have a couple of LED lights, um, but they were well, they were cheap, and you could put them on a tripod or you could put them on a box and two different lights, different lighting, and all that. 
but if you have glasses on you would still get the reflection in there the nitro glow much softer software controlled color temperature can be controlled as well um, it runs off a, a USB-C port really really good I would recommend it and the next one is the Belkin continuity camera mount for an iPad Air no MacBook Air or MacBook whatever you can get one for the Apple monitors now um, it's MagSafe so I had to get a new case because my case from my 13 um, well, I didn't work with that really good plop it on the top of your um, screen and off it jolly well goes continuity camera or I can do camo or I can do detail lab rather expensive but is good is very good my main new app of the year cross-platform upnote um, I've moved on from Evernote to Apple Notes uh, the problem with Apple Notes is it's not cross-platform and if you use it through the browser you can't have hashtags I'm not altogether really sure why that would be but you can't um, so I was looking for something else and I found Upnote and they were having a sale and I think it was £19 for lifetime it works on everything including Linux it's a snap-on Linux I think it's a flat pack as well um, the syncing is very fast the support is very good um, it is continuously developed and it's a bit of a winner and I like it a lot the Mac app of the year because it is a Mac app well when I still have my MacBook Pro i5 8 megs of RAM 200 meg megs 8 gigs of RAM 256 gigs of hard uh, disk space I downloaded detail it's a video app where you can use your phones or iPads as cameras and you can swap between them and you can edit backwards backwards after the fact and it just didn't work it just collapsed and then they move completely over to M size chips and now it really goes and you can overlay the video with text or pictures uh, or you can share with screens it's really really good um, there was a pro version or there will be a pro version I got it via setup but then they moved off setup so I came off setup and sometime in the new year they will have a pro version which removes various things and gives you extra functionality which I'm already saving up for <laughs> um, small team based in Amsterdam and they're on discord okay um, okay back to mobile networks I have a Tesco sim in my uh, 6A there is not much 5G around on the O2 network. I think I had it once or twice. Uh, I think that was Gloucester. I haven't been into Cardiff much to see it there, but get act together, O2. Really, really, really. Um, the slow, but sure it is now, and everyone's got one app, which used to be Slack, is now Discord. Everyone's got a Discord quite a lot of them are via Patreon um, and also because I'm on Twit um, advert free they have one as well and I think if you watch the Saturday wraps you'll know that I did a discord live from the Brew Monster Tap Room in Caerphilly uh, that was good it's a really good app even though on the desktop it's Electron <laughs> right okay so the end of the year and into next year AI so you had stable diffusion give it a few words it'll draw a picture for you um, chat G GPT give it a few words it'll do you an essay it'll write you a film score um, it will do a poem and then there was was it Luma AI um, it'll redo your pictures for you next year AI is just going to explode it's already started and 
teachers are worried because it'll write your dissertations, it'll write exams, it'll write practically anything. I think it's going to be an interesting time. I really do. And I think people might end up being out to work. It was ever thus, though. So, that's my third and final tech look back and look forward. The next one, possibly not from here, will be on beer. We all love beer. Thank you.